All right, so I'm going to show you guys why there's only 10 characters in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. And Gogeta is going to help emphasize and demonstrate that point because he's one of those 10 characters. Let's see why. And there you go. Now, I messed up a little bit on the combo midway through, and I kind of got it, you know, to where it needed to be towards the end there. But Gogeta demonstrated a point there. Look how easy his combos were. Look at all the heavy finishes they had. Look at the attention to detail. I'm not even, I, I don't even have to go into the transformation mechanic that he has unique to him. Uh, if I was in a combo, that animation would have been a lot easier. Oh, let's go ahead and show that. Look at that, a unique animation, a lot quicker, making transformations better, you know, for Gogeta and not anyone else in the game. Uh, but Gogeta is demonstrating a point here, a problem with Xenoverse 2, all the DLC characters, and in general, just the roster at large. Let's go ahead and talk about it in today's video. Okay, so like I said in the Gogeta intro, we only have 10 characters really 15 in the game now i know you see over 100 pictures here but in reality we only have about 15 characters in the game let me show you what i mean well now we're gonna do a count we're, we're, we're just gonna go through the roster and do a count of all the real characters because all these other pictures you see they're they're imaginary they're you know they're fictitious of your they're figments of your imagination they're fictitious characters they're not really characters but let's just go through here and do a count uh, let's see one let's keep going I know you see Piccolo future Gohan and these Gohans but they're not characters all these Vegeta's they're not characters Raditz Nappa not characters let's keep going oh Turles I know he was in the beginning promotional material but he's not an actual character let's keep going Golden Frieza you know one of the you know first main antagonists of Dragon Ball Super <laughs> not a character. I mean, I know you see his Emperor's Death Beam all around rank, but you don't ever see the character himself. I wonder why. Oh, here, here goes our, uh, what, second character? I mean, we have Super Saiyan Blue Goku, but now we have Cooler, our second actual character. Let's keep going. Oh, Android 16. Should we even count him after the nerf? I, I don't know. I, I'm not going to count him. But he, he used to be a character, but they nerfed him into the ground in this recent DLC. Uh, the androids that were so much of a, a terror you know they're nothing they're, they're not characters they're, they're, they're not characters uh, Super 17 which should be one of the strongest characters in the game stronger than Super Saiyan 4 and stronger than like what 90% of the roster in the game currently nah he's trash you know he you don't even have any moves all his moves are garbage and his combos are low damaging garbage he, he's not a character cell you know that character that gohan had his moment against perfection stronger than goku eh, he's not a character let, let, let's keep going so so far we only have two characters oh here goes our third solely due to custom partner that, that made him broken you know I know Angry Hit still got nerfed, but again, due to him getting the same buffs that uh, CAC Majins get, he, he's just a ridiculous character. He, he's ridiculously broken, everybody. Uh, Hercule, we used to see a lot of him before he got nerfed. I don't know what they took away from him, but you don't see him anymore. He's not a character. Videl, wife of Gohan. No, not a character. Uh, let's keep going. Uh... Oh, here we go. We have our third character out of like 50 pictures that you've all seen here. We finally have our third after Cooler, Broly. And you don't see him that much anymore because he's not as good as the other character that we're going to talk about. Uh, but, you know, he's there. He, he is used. He is viable. Uh, let's go. All these characters. I know we see all these fusions here, but, you know, they're not really characters, especially Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Why would he be a character? I mean, we, we nerfed his back hit. We gave him a trash combo set, trash move set. Uh, Beerus, you know, why should he be a character in this game? Uh, Weez, no. 
Omega Shinron, no. Oh, and we have our fourth character. Ding, 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 ding. Hit. Mr. I get all the broken combos, broken frames. Yeah, close those eyes. Oh, we, we I, I, I get the stamina regeneration stopping combos. The, the ridiculous cancels. Yeah, he, he, he's what, the fourth character? Yeah, he's the what fourth character after Goku, uh, Super Saiyan Blue, of course, Cooler, uh, Boo, Broly. So hit, that's number five. Yeah. Oh, here goes Bardock, number six. You know, he's not as prevalent as Hit, but Custom Bardock, he'll get the job done. Uh, Toa and Mira, why should they be characters in their own game? <laughs> Am I right, guys? Uh, Goku Black, no, not, not this Goku Black, anyways. Uh, all these characters from the Universe 6 versus Universe 7 tournament. No, Vados, stronger than Whis. One of the, should be one of the strongest characters in the game. No, combos are trash. Supers are trash. Doesn't get custom partner. You know, should be way better than Hit, but no, cause, cause she's a female. I guess she she can't be good. No, none of the female characters are good. Just ask Toa, ask 18, ask the the other character we're gonna talk about. Oh, number what? Number seven, Goku Goku Black Rose. Yeah, you'll see him. He has some broken builds, some broken moves. If you want to sit on sudden death beam, you can sit on sudden death beam and spam the spam the hell out of that. I mean, if you want to. And he has a broken super soul and all that, so you know he can get it done. But for some reason, his fusion is absolute utter garbage. Uh, his other counterpart is absolute utter garbage. Uh, Bojack, who beat the hell out of Gohan, oh, he, he's garbage in this game. Oh, I, I wonder why Vegito Blue, no, he shouldn't be good. Should I count him as number eight? I mean, you see, even though he has that grab range, he, he's clearly not as good as other characters. And I mean, it's purely due to his combos dropping. 13, same reason, combos dropping all over the place. But we'll make sure that Hit's combos hit all the time and consistently. <laughs> we'll even give him a glitch where Sledgehammer hits from five miles away. <laughs> oh boy, all these pictures. Oh, we have number eight here, and he's a recent one. Now, I know you guys are getting confused because he technically got added two years ago. But realistically, he only recently became a character due to Custom Partner giving him the freedom of move set and you know stats that he needed so desperately yeah oh kefla why should she be a character i mean she's you know two saiyans put together she fought goku and gave him a run for his money before ultra instinct and eh, you know she's not a character uh what should we count this one i i don't know i mean he he has low health despite being like the pinnacle of Goku's strength. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm not going to count him as a character. We have number nine, Fu, with all his invincibility frames and broken stuff. Number nine, Fu. More like Boo, you broken piece of crap. Uh, Gogeta. Yep, number 10, Gogeta. An actual character. Yep, give him all the best combos. Uh, give him a broken invincibility frame step. Give him thank you, Dragon Balls. Yep, he's a character. Number 11, Broly. Now, he's a tank. He has a lot of health, as he should. He hits hard, as he should. But it makes me wonder why, you know, this character over here, why she doesn't get any of that. Why isn't she a tank? Why doesn't she hit hard? Why isn't she a monster? Why doesn't she, she have good grab range? Why does he get all this, but she gets none of this? Makes you wonder. Uh, let's see, Baby, despite being a lot of people's favorite character. No, nope, he, he, he better not be good. You better not make him a good character. His combos better do no damage. They better not, st they, they better not halt stamina regeneration. Well, we'll give him some gimmicky supers to give the CAC, but that's it. Let's see, I don't see any more characters here. Supreme Kai of Time? Why should she be good in her own game? I mean, she's only the leader of the Time Patrol. Why should she be good? Why should she have good combos with high damage and good cancels? Uh, I, mean, I mean, she is a female. And I mean, Xenoverse seems to have a philosophy with female characters sucking. PyCon? No. Topo? 
No, but we, we saw fit to nerf his ultimate for no reason at all. We had to balance it because people were going to waste eight bars of key to use Powerwall and, and Hakai. We could never allow that. We could never allow a character besides a Gogeta, a Goku, or a Broly to be good in the game. Oh, no. Unless your name is Hit. Khalifla? Ah, oh, we gave her a gimmicky super, but who gives a damn about the character, am I right? You see the problem here? Now, I went through all that just to emphasize a point. We only have 10, if you want to push it, 15 characters in this game. You see, hundred, you, you see over 100 pictures, but realistically, we only see the same 10 faces online. The same 10 ones. And it's not because people are fans of these characters so much so that they pick them over everyone else. It's clear that these characters, I don't even want to say that they're broken. They're just as good as every character should be. Cooler, he, he's as good as a big character should be. He can, he can hit hard. He has good reach. He now has the freedom of moveset with custom partner. He has better builds now due to the, the stat distribution and the super souls. You know, that's why he gets used. But Golden Frieza, why should his combos be good? He has trash combos and his only contribution to the game was Emperor's Death Beam. Why should one of the main legendary antagonists of the whole damn series be good? Right? Right, Dimps? We're not gonna ever buff him or tweak his animations or change things about him so that people could come back to the game and be like, oh, look at what they did to Freeze. He's actually good now. Oh, word? Let's go ahead and use him instead of Cooler all the time. I would love to see that. Wouldn't you? Wouldn't you actually love to see Freeze every now and again? Wouldn't you love to see Super 17 every now and again? And you cannot fall. Here's the, here's the problem. This is not an issue of the community just not using these characters. It's not that. If the characters are not good, especially in the competitive realm, if their combos are dropping, like 13s, like if their combos are dropping all over the place, but for some reason you can go to base Gogeta, and if you hit his Comet Strike, even though Comet Strike is a, is a trash move, if you hit it, if you connect the first hit, it's guaranteed to hit 100% of the time. I've seen that, I've used it, it will hit consistently like it's meant to but for some reason we don't get that same philosophy on the other characters where their combos are going to connect all the time like they should oh yeah android 17 db super has that same problem that's why we only see the same characters the, the these other characters foo hit broly gogeta they have the best stats they have the best move sets with heavy finishes. And when I say heavy finishes, I mean gut punches that f force the opponent to stay in place. I'm talking about good cancels that allow you to have mobility. I'm talking about high damage early on, low damage middle, and then high damage to finish. You know why that matters? Because most people are going to vanish in the first two or three hits because they're not going to eat a combo. If they know all your damage comes later on, why would they sit there and eat your combo? So why don't you give other characters a good damage rhythm? That's what I'm going to call it. Why don't you give them a good damage rhythm so at least they're getting damage in their combos even though the, the opponents are vanishing? You did that with Hit. Oh, Hit is a cheesy son of a gun. Where where are you, Hit? There you go, Hit. He's a cheesy son of a gun. But you don't nerf him. You don't tone him down. You don't change him. Even though he has broken stuff like the key blast that should hit the opponent, but levitates over them and allows him to continue combos. You will put all the bells and whistles on Gogeta here. Yeah, where are you, Gogeta? Here you are. You'll put all the bells and whistles and secret mechanics and all this, that, and other on Gogeta. But where was the love for Kale and Khalifla? Where was the love for them? Where was the love for Supreme Kai of Time? Where was the love for Oob? Where, where, where was the love for Android 21? A fan favorite character. Where's her Majin 21 form? I mean, you put two goddamn Gogetas in the same damn game, but, 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 but why didn't she get her Majin form in the game, huh? Why isn't Kefla any good? Why is it the same 10 characters? 
Let's take another look at something else. Now to show you what Hit gets. And keep in mind, Toa, Supreme Kai of Time, Perfect Cell, Kel Khalifla, Super 17, the androids, they got nothing. But Hit, the most busted character in the game, I'm going to show you why he's the most busted character in the game. He got custom partner, he's got stamina preventing combos, he's got everything. He got all the bells and whistles, but every time you get a DLC character, they don't get the bells and whistles like Hit. Let me show you. Look at that. All day. Look at that good damage. Look at that heavy finish keeping my opponent in place. Look at that. Ooh. Look at that. Look at what Hit got for custom partner. Look at that super god fist. No, I'm going to show it again. Look at all that the hit gets. That's that's not everything. Oh, let me show you the stamina combo. That's the stamina preventing combo. He gets all that. He gets a good dash attack that's quick and, and returns him almost instantly into good neutral. But Kel Khalifla. Toa, Mira, Supreme Kai of Time, they get none of this. None of this. Kind of makes you think. Like, they'll try on the characters that they like. They'll put everything on them. They'll, they'll handle them with so much caution and care and make them the best characters in the game. But the rest of the characters get nothing. That is why you only have 10 characters in Xenoverse 2. Let that marinate. Now, like I was saying before, Dimps has the opportunity to correct the problem of us only having 10 characters in the game. Uh, it's as easy as them going in at different intervals and patching the characters and giving them new animations. I mean, if you can go in and on some super attacks, change the animation, change the characteristics or the attributes of the attack, I, in my mind, you can go with characters and do the very same thing. You could go to Super 17 and give him some of the stuff that Hit has. And you don't even have to change the animation of his combos. You could just change the fall state. You can change the damage numbers. You could go to his super attacks and tweak that. You could go to Kaon Khalifla and give them actual cancels. You can go in there and really work around and make them better characters that people want to use instead of the same characters again and again and again. Custom partner? is their opportunity to do that. I mean, if you wanted to make a custom partner character, custom partner has saved Jiren. You never saw Jiren online, period, point blank. Unless it was a world tournament that people wanted to go get the icons for that they never use and nobody cares about in all honesty. I, you used to never see Jiren, but now you do. That's the power of custom partner. And I want them to take it even farther. I want them to go and tweak the combos mess around with the combos i don't want to see characters get nerfed because a lot of people will look at me talking about gogeta and say oh i want him nerfed no buff the other characters around him so that he's not the only and obvious choice that's how you balance a game give me variety make me look at these other characters like a cell like a bojack like a, a future Gohan, make me want to use these characters because they can actually compete on equal footing with a Gogeta, with a hit. Make my Android 18 good. Make her good. She shouldn't only be doing damage with full power energy wave because the only thing you did with her was give her knockaway combos that have pretty good stun. Give her, a, give her other part portions of her combos damage. Give her some cancels. Mess around with the false state of the characters. Make her good. Make her good. Do the same thing with Toa and Mira. Right? I do the same thing with Android 21. And yes, give us Android 21 as a custom partner. Give us Kel Khalifa as custom partners. 
They need moveset diversity. Give us them. Give us Gogeta, Super Saiyan 4 as a custom partner. For some odd reason, they choose to let him be one of the worst Gogetas, but in fact, he's the best. Guys, encourage Dimps to actually fix Xenoverse 2. And I, I'm, I'm very hesitant to use hashtag fix Xenoverse 2 because you remember how they ruined Storm 4 by going in and nerfing everything into the ground, nerfing all the damage, making all the characters. So I don't want a sea of nerfs. The only character in this game that needs to be nerfed is Hit. Go nerf him. Please nerf him and Majin Buu. I don't think Majin Buu should be as tanky as he is. And if you nerf those two characters, everything else is a buff fest. Buff everyone else. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Click that notification bell. Enable all notifications. And I will see you guys in the next video. Let me know what you thought in the comment section below. And peace.